Hmm. So me, yeah, a lot of things are happening. Eh? Like I'm at a point right now where really things do not shock me anymore. I'm just like, oh, uh -huh. okay. So either way, guys. Now today we're gonna talk about Dennis Ipumbu Noah. But now before I get into this video, I just have a disclaimer. I want you guys to know that everything that I'm gonna discuss in this video is public knowledge. It's public records. So yeah, it's things that I got off from the internet. If you're gonna come for me, I'm sorry. The information is already out there. And secondly, um, this video is also going to include themes covering sexual assault and rape. So if you happen to be someone who's triggered by um, topics such as that, I advise you to not go ahead and watch this video because tell me it's going to be triggering for you. So yeah, now let's get into the video. So either way, tell me, um, Dennis Ipumbu Noah, he is 26 years old and he's going to be turning 27th on the 20th of September. Furthermore, he is a twin. He has a twin brother who unfortunately passed away um in in 2020 december he passed away in a freak accident that involved a gyro a gyrocopter mm, so yeah and then also his educational background well basically he did finish his high school at dhps in the year 2012 and then the following year he enrolled at unam um, for medical school you know studying to become a medical doctor so yeah um, people have revealed that he was quite a very bright student in high school and also quite hard working in varsity so yeah and then in the year 2015 he was elected yeah he was elected as an src member secretary general to be exact that was now in 2015 and um, yeah so basically he was quite busy and now um his father well interestingly to most of us his father is polis noah now mr polis noah he is the the director of the ACC, the Anti-Corruption Commission of our country. And then his mother is a teacher by profession. So he comes from a family of individuals who are quite very well educated and successful in their careers. And yeah, I mean, um, to the few friends that I've spoken, like that I've contacted, they have revealed that he is someone who's quite very kind, joyful. You know, he just has this um, very positive outlook on life and so forth you know all those nice positive things that your friends would talk say about you chomi and um yeah man yeah and then also interestingly while i was doing a little bit more research on him i actually stumbled upon a ted talk video of his now for most of you guys who do not know ted talks uh, is just basically this platform where yeah so guys as i was saying about the ted talks it's basically just this platform where people um where people just get together and they they spread ideas usually in short powerful talks and any person from any type of discipline can go talk, whether you are from the creative industry, entertainment, or medical, technological, whatnot, whatever field it is. So, yeah. And um, they're also on YouTube and they have quite a high number of subscribers, over the millions, as you can see here. And, um, yeah, he was also featured in one of their videos in 2016. And by that time, he was 21 years old. So, I'm just going to leave you guys here with a short clip for you to watch. However, for the full video, you can find it in the link down below. So, yeah. Quickly watch this video. I do not want to be employed by anybody. I grew up believing that I should. I'm here to sorry. I'm here to challenge the ethics. So yeah, that was his topic. He basically talked about uh, moving from job seekers to job creators. So yeah, so maybe for most of you guys who want to hear how he speaks, you know, how he thinks, you know, you can go watch the full clip on their YouTube channel. It's, a, it's like around eight minutes. So yeah. So either way, now let's get into other news. So now, show me. Hey, la mama. So the Namibian Sun on April 13th, yesterday, they posted this on their Twitter where they said, um, just in. A trainee doctor who is a son of a prominent public official but cannot be named before he appears in court has been arrested for allegedly raping a male patient at the Katatura State Hospital on Sunday. He is expected in court tomorrow. Now, Chomi, yeah, when I saw this, Chomi is for your girl, the brain, to start boiling. Firstly, because it's a, it's a rape. And then secondly, the person's name is being protected just because of born it's from a prominent official. What, what, what? Show me, I was just like, name man, no. Had it been Sakaria from Onipa or Karibasen from Korikas, show me, we would have known about their names, how they chew food, what they eat, who their ancestors are, you know, everything, all the information. Mm -hmm. So for me, I was just like, ah, ah. these people are, no? But either way, that's just my opinion. I really didn't like the fact that people's names are being protected and so on. But yeah. 
Um, so now tell me the allegations that have been brought forward against um, against um, Dennis Noah. Well, what is being alleged in the newspaper and in the newspapers and other media? The allegations are that apparently he raped the victim. Allegedly, he allegedly raped the victim who was in hospital for treatment. Now this, now the victim was in treatment following a motor vehicle accident, guys. Yes, the victim was in a car accident and then was rushed obviously to the hospital. And um, the rape it occurred while the victim was heavily sed was while the victim was sedated. So all these events took place on Sunday, and the victim was sedated. So meaning he had he was the victim received an injection, you know, with calming effects to that makes you sleep whatever you know i really don't know how to explain these medical terms chomitoh but yeah so what i understand how you know this really blew up was that um, a used condom was found on his bed and no not a used an unused condom was found on the bed and then i believe from there on you know further investigations were taken as to how it got there you know other checks were done and then it is also being alleged that um semen was found in his rectum so yeah tell me that's what happened so now um mr dennis noah he was then arrested yesterday and he was detained at the wanaheda police station in katatura so then yeah so that's what happened and show me honestly ne? i'm now basing my opinion off of the allegations show me i am disgusted sure yo i am and show me imagine someone being taken advantage of already coming out of such a traumatic experience such as a motor vehicle accident and now i'm on the world is sick people are sick and i'm very very disappointed and i don't even have words anymore for me this is just horrible it is horrible horrible it's mo only monsters do this type of things and shoo uh -uh. i'm done good say jehovah uh -uh. so yeah um dennis is also being represented by lawyers from the shikomba law chambers so yeah his lawyers are represent his lawyers are from there and then, well, today he appeared in court and um, he was wearing this sweater, as you can see here. And I'm just going to leave you guys with a 50 second clip, just as he was talking to, I don't know if it's one of the lawyers, paralegal or whatnot, but yeah. So yeah, tell me, um, um, when he appeared in court today, he was basically denied bail because he applied for bail. And the bail, it was denied on the grounds that, you know, it's not in public interest to release Noah. And then also investigations into the matter are at an infant stage. Um, so yeah, so I understand that Noah is going to be in, in custody up until 19th of April when a formal bail application again will be received or is expected. So from there on, we'll see how things go. And um, what I do know is that he has been transferred from Wanaheda holding cells to, to now this word, Chomine, it's very weird, man. I don't know if it's CIS or whatever, but it is basically a police station on the outskirts of Ventuk. And um, this was something that his lawyers fought for because they felt that it was for his own safety, largely due to the type of work that the father does. Like I told you guys, the father, he's the director of the Anti-Corruption Commission. So probably there was a fear of, you know, some people might be like, oh, your father, what, 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 and, you know, hurt him. You don't know. But yeah, guys, so basically that's what I know for now. And um, I will be following this case as it progresses. You know, I'll keep you guys updated if any updates um, occur. But yeah, but yeah, guys, that's basically it. And what do you guys think, Ane, about everything? For me, I just hope that um, justice is going to be served. And um, yeah, because, yeah. The way things are set up in our country, you know, people get away with things and whatnot. But yeah, all in all, you are innocent until proven guilty, right? And um, yeah, so that's the alleged. Those are the allegations against the against Mr. Dennis Noah. And um, we will see how things progress and how things go. And basically, that's it, guys. Bye. Um, Tommy, I'm just here to quickly correct something. Eh? Um, the TED Talk, it was held in August 2015, but then it was only uploaded on YouTube 2016, January. And then the lawyers that are representing him are the Shikong, uh, from the Shikongo Law Chambers and not Shikomba, like I've mentioned. It's Shikongo Law Chambers. Okay, now, bye.